This is the profit and loss statement. It's an example that is the most downloaded of all of our examples and you're going to be able to see why. This is the only way that you can really show financials in Power BI in a way that everyone will understand them. First, let's start here with this beautiful visualization of our PL statement. You can see that for our actuals, we're using a special designed visualization called a calculation waterfall that shows us exactly how everything stacks up, how the flow of financials go in the PL statement so we can understand it. We understand that product revenues go up, that service and other revenues go up. This is then calculated into here. And then our costs, of course, bring it down until we get to another point, which is another result that we have. The cool things here is, of course, that we have our visualized PL statement and our automatically calculated variances versus what we planned. But that's not all. You can also see we have here a couple of different columns in different colors. These are calculations, calculations that were added by the Zebra BI visualization. You can see here it says remove calculation. And the way that we were able to do this is this is inside of the visualization. So no docs needed, no complicated things, just a couple of clicks and you can get this awesome revenue percent of revenue calculation added to your data with simply here adding a quick calculation you can see just just pick something and everything is done no docs no complications everything great and here we have our gross margin percent again a row calculation again added here into this visualization simply by right clicking here you can see manage calculations again and we can just add our calculations, we can add things so we understand our data better, so we can understand what's going on in the background or have initial insights that we need, you know, for reporting. Of course, our commenting is also here so that we can understand what impacted specific data points to be better or maybe do a little bit worse like we can see here with our operating expenses, right? So there's a lot of logic that's going on here. There's a lot of things that are added right into the visualization that don't need to be added into your data model or with complicated DAX. But that's not all. Not only do we get this beautiful PL statement, we also with just a click of a button can see that we have here our balance sheet as well and you can see again the calculation waterfall and that we then understand everything the comments also changed because of course the same comments that are used for our PL cannot be used for our balance sheet and then our third one is the cash flow where again the calculation waterfall comes back but again the comments are different, everything changes so that you can get a great understanding of not only your PL, but all of your financial statements, right? Not just your PL, but all of your financial statements. Then moving forward from here, what we can also do is we can go into details. We can see this is where I was talking about, you know, your financial team. Maybe you want to see how you're doing, what your PL looks like with business units in mind. See, for mobile, for computers, for audio, for wearables. Again, same kind of visualization, but here we have it a little bit different. We have a calculation waterfall on our variances. And again, this is all automatically done, right? Simply here going up to more of our options. We can just choose, maybe we would like to show this as numbers or have it like we did before with visualizations. Moving forward, maybe even something like a free cash flow, like a nice bridge chart that gives us all the information that we need. So all of the contributions that we have from our categories you can see right here but then we also get this difference highlight here at the end that shows us what really happened from the beginning of period to the end of period so there's no guesswork you know exactly what's going on in the end let's show you the financial kpi summary again where we have a nice little table all of the interactivity here as well so if we wanted month to date or year to date just a simple click of a button but here you can see we have our revenues down to our net cash flow all in a pretty much simplified little table where we can track the most important kpis don't forget everybody 
if you want to do your financials this way, and I think it's the only way to do your financials in Power BI, go down into the description below, download this example for Power BI, use it as an inspiration, and let us know how well or how much better everybody in your company understands financials from now on.